Hey, I'm Max S, and this is Josh Richter, and this is Mitchell Sattler, and we are here to present to you the fingerboard, the fingerboard fun box. So, the toy industry. Obviously, the toy industry is never going to fail. It is always improving, and they're always making money. So this is why we decided to take this idea and try to make some money off of it. So roles. I'm. I was the brainstormer of the whole idea. I first got the idea from uh, YouTube, and I really liked how it is so simple. And so what I did was I drew it up and I pitched the idea to the class, and. These two decided to join my group and back me with it, and we decided to take this as our project. Um, I was kind of like, whenever these two needed something, I would go and grab it. I tape measures, wood, uh, and then when we first started designing it, we all had to combine the project on Inventor, and then they taught me how to do that, and then we started to use the laser cutter. So my role in this project was uh, I was kind of the commander of Inventor. Um, Autodesk Inventor was a big part of this project. It's for people who don't know, it's a 3D uh, sketching program where you can go, uh, you use a computer, and you sketch anything like this. The pieces uh, we needed for this on there. So um, I had used that in a prior class, so I was familiar with that. So that was my um, responsibility in the group. In the process, um, as you know, Max already kind of described that he pitched the idea to the class. Um, so Mitchell and I heard his pitch, we liked the idea, so we joined his group. The next step was figuring out the dimensions and how the pieces were going to look. So once we figured that out, we went on Inventor, as you can see here, me and Max are working on it in this picture. Um, and we figured out what needed to happen in order to have it help, uh, be held together without any type of adhesive or anything like that. So we had to figure out all these complicated dimensions with the notches and everything. And after that happened on Inventor, we uh, built an assembly file on Inventor, which is where you take every single separate piece you've built and assemble it together in one file. And Max uh, kind of ended up finishing with that part. And then after that assembly uh, file was finished, they cut it out <clears throat> in the, uh, with the laser cutter. The product. So what we used was a quarter inch thick plywood. It was a 20 by 16. And we designed it off of Inventor. And once we used Inventor, we programmed our laser cutter to cut the specific dimensions out of the quarter inch thick plywood. And then it's a hollow bottom, so these notches are holding it up. And then it didn't really, it was sliding around sometimes. So we grabbed wood glue and we glued it all together. And now it stays perfectly solid. So the time it took, I mean, to get everything assembled on the Autodesk Inventor took us about two days, but to actually cut out the wood, it took us nine minutes, I think. And it was two separate cuts on, a, like Mitchell said, a 20 inch by 16 inch piece of quarter inch plywood. And it was really quick. The cost was about 225, uh, roughly. Probably, that's probably more than it actually cost. And the fit and finish was virtually, it was pretty, it was pretty close to perfect. All I had to do, was sand down some of the edges so that it would lay flush and it wouldn't, uh, it didn't overlap. So I, I sanded it down on a band sander and I made it lay flush to the ground and I made these two corners that are meeting lay flush with each other. So fingerboarding may not be for everyone, but we can all agree it's pretty cool. Uh, this product is, if this product is mass produced, it could bring in a lot of money and kids all over the world would want these because fingerboarding Actually, you may not believe it, but it's coming back. So thank you for watching our presentation. We have a small demo of what this thing looks like when we are using it.